everybody. I'm here with Phil from the Utility Management Department where he's going to actually tell us a little bit about the storm management system. So hey Phil, how are you? Doing wonderful. I'm so glad you're here today. So talking about rain and when it storms, where does our water go? Well, the water hits your lawns and it hits the pavement and the sidewalks here and it enters the storm inlet system here. It's an underground system all the way through town, under the streets and enters out, like you said, exit in the, in the stream. So are you going to pop this off and show us what's inside? Yeah, we'll take a look in here. This is going to be the most simple of all systems at this location. But you can see there is some trash in there, unfortunately. You see grass clippings and sticks, uh -huh. but in this somewhat urban environment here, you're going to find more trash. There is an actual pipe. Yes, there's a pipe exiting and heads downstream into the next larger pipe. We saw the smaller inlet, mm -hmm. uh, the most general that we have in our system, and then we want to try to find a manhole type structure uh, that uh, would have larger pipes. So it looks like we found one. What is this tool that you're using? This is a manhole pick and it's pretty handy. Oh, look at that. That is exactly one step bigger, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's quite a bit larger pipe there. I can almost fit in that maybe. Have to crawl on my belly yeah. through it. Maybe Taylor would do it. Not me. I feel like I kind of just made a little joke about being able to crawl on my belly maybe through this little bit bigger of a tube. But if that's not even possible, our friend Scott has just there arrived. There is a better way to do it. Glad you're here. What do you have with you? Well, I've got a large camera that we put down in the pipe. And now, how do you control this? Well, we control it inside the truck. Mm -hmm. And we record everything that we see with this camera into the computer on okay. hard drive. Pretty versatile. It can fit in about any size pipe. Well, glad you met us out here. This robot looks like it could take my job, need be. <laughs> So we've seen the next size up. Is it time for the next size? I say, let's go down and see the next biggest. All right, so we keep going downstream. You spotted something. What, what do we got here? Well, we've got a manhole here. And I believe, based on our drawings and our maps, that there should be a large round pipe entering a large box culvert. All right, well, let's pop this thing open and see if you are right. Whoa. Wow, so about how big is this? That's a 60 inch concrete pipe or five foot in diameter. I could definitely fit in this one. No need for a robot. Nope. So this stop actually stops with um, the circular tubes, right? Right, from here on down, I believe it's all rectangular or box culverts. And that's simply just because we keep going downstream, all the tiny ones are leading into these bigger and bigger, so they've gotta be bigger. That's right. I'm glad we found this one, but you know, just hungering for more. All right. I want to see these big, big box ones. All right. All right, so our crew has landed here. This looks like a construction site right now. What is going on? Well, this is a convergence point for the whole town's drainage system. So what you're seeing here is one major uh, culvert pipe system coming from the west side okay. of town. And then from the east side is the other pipe that comes in. So uh, you're seeing a construction site where we're having to replace an old deteriorated system. Kind of as we talked about at our last stop, these are these big boxes, right? Yes, you're looking at about a 16 foot wide structure. Uh, both of these tying into a much larger system that uh, outlets down in the stream. All right, so we're walking in and I have to notice this is a box. Is this what we just pretty much saw? It is what we just saw. This is where it enters the main channel. Uh, upstream of this is probably 50 storm inlets out in the streets that tie into smaller pipes that eventually make it to this box and then this really large rectangular uh, system here that we're standing in. This is its last step, right? That's correct. Cool. Well, hello down there. Hi. We noticed Hi. you with your light. My name is Christy Lindbergh, Education Specialist for the City of Bloomington. Oh, okay, so you, you must know a lot about this system, don't you? I know quite a bit. Wonderful. Is there anything that you as an educator have tried to really teach people about this system? Basically to keep it clean. That's really what it all boils down to. It's that simple. We ask people not to go and put poop bags, trash, oil, anything like that. Nothing into the storm sewer system because we flow into Clear Creek and then from there into the East Fork of the White River, down to the Wabash, and then down to the Ohio River. And you know where that leads, down to the mighty Mississippi. And, and then down to the Gulf right of Mexico. Us, right? Yes, eventually it does. And 
We start here. Are we here at the Friday Zone? We've got it. It's in our brains. Awesome. We're going to be on top of our cleanliness and our water system. So thank you so much. You're welcome, and thank you too.